ground flares are being constructed as part of the new ethane cracker at Cedar Bayou and the polyethylene units at Old Ocean. Let's learn more. At CP Kim, um, we have ground flares overseas, and we've had a ground flare at Cedar already. Uh, ground flares are the same purpose as elevated flares. Our units can have gases that come from their unit during maintenance operations where we're purging equipment, um, during emission events, during startups and shutdowns. One we're installing here at Sweeney is an open ground flare that has a large array of burners um, where you're sending the gas to lots of little individual burners. Every ground flare, or no matter what flare it is, has to be designed specifically for the unit that it's, it's going to service. The flare has a 60-foot wall, so you'll see the glow when the, the, the flare is burning, but you should not see any flames over the top of the wall. I'm personally very proud um, to work for CP Kim. Lots of work hours have gone into place to ensure that, that we comply with all regulations that are out there. I've worked a couple projects before, uh, but the USGC project, we staffed heavier on this project than we ever have. So we've had more operator involvement and more investment from the people who will actually operate the plant than we've ever had on any other project. And I think that's really going to help this project be a success.